Are you a tenor? Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Orlandi and welcome to my YouTube channel. On today's video I'm going to talk about the tenor voice. Are you a tenor? So a few people have asked me, am I a tenor? Because of that I've decided to make this video. And in order to answer whether or not you are a tenor, we need to understand what a tenor is. A tenor is a type of male singing voice whose range lies between the baritone and the counter tenor voice. And the tenor repertoire requires a certain and very specific type of vocal range. So we can say that if your voice can get to a low C3 all the way up to a high C5, you could sing the tenor role. But apart from this there are other requirements. Usually the tenor voice has a certain bright metallic sound that is often not present so much on a baritone or even less on a bass voice. And within the tenor voice there are also many different classifications. The human voice is very flexible and it is unique in all of us. So as I've said before if you can go all the way down to a C3 and all the way up to a C5 you very likely are a tenor or are at least able to sing the tenor repertoire. However, this doesn't mean that that is your lowest or your highest note. It is for most of us. But for me, being a tenor, I can go down to a G2, sometimes even lower to an E2. And on the high end of my voice, I can normally go all the way up to an F sharp 5. And if I really push it, I can get to an A5. And this is not using falsetto, it's using mixed voice. Also you need to understand that the tenor voice is already the voice of a person who has gone through puberty and whose voice is already developed. I would say that very often to get to this classification you would need to be at least 18 years old, most likely you would need to be 21 because this tends to be the time that your body stops developing. And when your body is developing your voice becomes lower and lower. For some people slightly lower and it's a change of only an octave, but for others it is more and you may end up being a baritone or a bass, which is also great but it's a different voice type. How do I know if I haven't gone through puberty yet, if I'm going to end up as a tenor? Well, there's no way to tell for sure, but in most cases altos end up being tenors. But this is not a golden rule, so there's really, as I said before, no certainty about it. In the meantime, I would always advise to keep practicing singing, music, developing and learning different skills that are going to help you out in the future as a singer like becoming a really good musician, reading music like a pro, being able to make small arrangements to a certain piece, having stylistic knowledge of different repertoires and all of that, are things that you can study now and that you can practice to become better and better at. And when the time comes for you to discover your voice type after you have gone through puberty, you will already be a good musician. Something else that I would recommend as well if you are going to be a singer is learning a different instrument like the keyboard because it's really going to help you out when you have to study new repertoire. With that said, I hope I have clarified some of your doubts and questions. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you found any value on this video. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye! Looking